everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's me. And guys, today I am super excited because today I am here with another video to help you out in Adopt Me because some things in Adopt Me can just be hard. And no, today is not how to make the most of bucks uh, video in this amount of time, how to make the most bucks and that, but this video is how ooh money okay i had to talk about bucks to get that money though but this video is going to be about how to make a neon in adopt me by yourself the fastest way possible and i'm super excited to show you guys this video because in my opinion it's kind of hard to make neons in adopt me and sometimes the only way to do it is by yourself. And today I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to do it by yourself. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, you guys. So the first tip is, is to have a home with everything you need. Let me show you. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a house that has everything that you need very easily accessible to you. Like, let me show you an example. This one's optional. You definitely don't have to use a piano. I sort of like to use a piano, but... In this case, I'm just not going to use one. So this is the setup you're going to want to have. A cheap crib, a cheap shower, and feeders where you can feed your pet. The next thing that you're going to want to do is obviously take out the pet that you're growing up. I'm growing up. I'm actually growing up a lot of pets at the moment, but I think I'm going to go and grow up my stingray because it looks really cute when it's neon <laughs> here we go we have Sally the stingray and she's looking beautiful so now the thing is I want to have a lot of time on my hands I want a place where I can just sit down relax play adopt me and age because that's the biggest tip you have to have a lot of time on your hands because making neon takes time there's some shortcuts to it but at the end of the day, it still takes hours upon hours to make a neon pet. So the best thing is to, you know, have a little bit of a time on your hands to play. The next thing that you're going to want to do is, if you have, remember this is not necessary, to have a magic house door or the premium plots. This will help you travel to your house faster. Remember, this is not necessary and this is an optional step. One thing that I also like to do is teleport around to get around places faster. I like to teleport to the gifts so I can get to the main center of town. Or I could have just walked around my house because it's literally right there. When I'm at the hospital, since I have hours on my hand and have time to spend and is going to get the sick need a lot, I like to pick up these healing apples. So these healing apples can heal your pet on the run. No more going to the hospital. You can take these healing apples until Adopt Me says you are getting too much. You have to get some more. Since I'm only making a video about this, I'm only going to take a few. The next thing that you're going to want is you're going to want to have a vehicle. And this can be any vehicle. It can be from roller skates to a skateboard to a bike, anything. The reason why you're going to want to have a vehicle is because it'll lead you to places faster. Remember, the faster you can get to things, the faster you can age up your pet. The next tip is to know the time that you have. If you only have a few hours to 30 minutes a day, maybe you'll want to work on a common pet first. This helps because common pets are easier to age up, so you'll be able to make your neon faster. If you have hours upon hours daily, you can try and aim for a legendary pet or one of the higher ranked pets since you have hours to spend on your neon pet. 
Remember, neon pets do take time and it will take time to age them up. The next thing that you're going to want to do is actually take use of this new favorites tab in the inventory. What you're gonna wanna do is, since I'm growing up a stingray, I'm going to want to search stingray in my inventory. With this, I can favor every single stingray I want. If they're in groups, all you have to do is favorite one, and it'll release one, and favorite one again, and favorite one again, and of course, I'm going to favorite the one I'm using at the moment. Now I have four favorited stingrays. Well, what will this do for me? When, since I like to keep things organized, if things are stacked and I have one loose, I preferably like to favorite that one loose. But now that you've favored it, you have easy access to this item. And you have easy access to every single stingray. Now I have easy access to my full grown one, my one that I'm aging up, and the ones that are still newborn. Why does this help? Well, this helps because it's the first thing in your inventory. So it's most likely the first or second thing you are going to click. The most used tabs or the tabs that you'd most likely want to use is the pets tab and the favorites tab. And the reason why is one, to, you know, find your pet that you want to make neon. But once you have favorited all those pets, your main tab will be the favorites tab. I like to use petware while aging up pets. You know, one, to give my pet style. And two, also because before the favorites tab, it, or if you forget to favorite it, you can easily go and find the one that you have a, in I, or, or an article of clothing you have on. If I didn't have the favorites tab, I wouldn't know which one to press. But since it has this little hat beside it, I know immediately that this is the stingray I am leveling up. My next tip is to know where everything is. When you know where everything is around the map, you'll be easy... It'll, it'll be easier to go there faster. Let me show you what I mean. Let's just say I was going around on a slow vehicle. Uh, this pink bike for an example. The reason why it's pink is because my favorite color is pink. And this bike, to be honest, it doesn't go that fast. Well, if I didn't know the map well, and I was looking all around for the campground, I could be looking at it for minutes and one this waste time while doing other needs and two when the need is orange you need to get there stat because when it hits day or when it hits night depending on the need it will go away this these needs will also give your pet more experience or XP. You want to give your pet the most XP because it will it will um, level your pet faster, if that makes any sense. The next thing is, ooh, money again. Oh, yes. The next thing is you want to have fun. There's no point of leveling up your pets if you're not going to have fun fun with it. If you're just sitting around bored and not even wanting to level up your pets, you're not going to have fun. You always want to have fun while leveling up your pets because it'll make the process seem much faster. Let me show you a little bit what this age grinding up system kind of works. As you can see, my stingray is sleepy. And since right here I have easy access to every single thing I need, it can easily go in the bed super fast. Let me show you what pets go through. Now, I got this from a site, not from my own memory. Don't think I'm this smart. So the pet, oh my goodness, ads everywhere. The pets go in orders. When they are normal and not neon, they will go through this order. Newborn, junior, preteen, teen, postteen, full grown. To make a neon, if you're not so sure, if you don't, if you don't remember that, you need 
four of the same full grown pets to make a neon pet. You can go down to the cave and merge your pets together. Then, they, when they're neon, they will go through Reborn, Twinkle, Sparkle, Flare, Sunshine, Luminous. Do the same thing, except this time it will make a Mega Neon pet. A common pet for a newborn will take three tasks to level up. Junior, 6, Preteen, 11, Teen, 16, and Postteen, 20. When you reach an uncommon, it gets a little bit harder. When newborn, 5, Junior, 9, Preteen, 13, Teen, 18, and Postteen, 25. Rare ones also get a little bit harder. With newborn, 10, Junior, 20, Preteen, 30, Teen, 40, and Postteen, 50. Ultra rare pets go 20, Newborn, Junior, 25, Preteen, 36, Teen, 47, and Postteen, 58. And Legendaries are the hardest to level up. With Newborn, 13, Junior, 20, 26, Preteen, 38, Teen, 50, and Postteen, 62. And this site also said that Neon Pets seem to go the same amount to create a Mega Neon Pet. That is all the tips and tricks I have to make a Neon Pet. I really hope this helped you and maybe you'll be able to grow up your pets just a little bit faster. I really, really hope this helped you. And if it did, make sure to comment down below. Remember, it's always important while growing up pets to always have fun and know when you have time to sit down and grow up your pets. But thank you guys. Oopsie. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel because it's free. And once you subscribe, make sure you turn on all those post notifications so you'll never miss another video. How cool is that? But thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me in the comment section down below if these tips helped. And I'll see you guys.